Hi, this is Rachel from the Dotting Center. Today I'm going to share with you one of my very favorite projects. I call it the Ombre Spiral and it's a wood pebble. This is an easy beginner project that you can paint up really quickly. I'll show you everything about my spiral stencil and wood pebbles and I'll also show you how you can blend colors using dots. This is a really fun project and I hope you like it, so collect all your materials and let's add a fun new piece of playful art to your collection. For this project I used DecoArt Americana acrylic paints in all of these colors as well as navy. I'll have all those paint colors listed in the description box below. For this project, you'll need a wood pebble. I used a two and a half inch wood pebble from the dotting center. Now you can use anything. You can use a stone or anything round. Looks great with a spiral design. Also use the spiral stencil from the dotting center as well as a chalk pencil and stylus tools. And optional, you can use uh, dotting tools. I only use the smallest size from this, so really you could do this entire project just using stylus tools if you'd like. Now you'll see in this video I do use pointed silicone tools and those are also available if you like those as well. So I'm going to talk about the wood pebbles for a second. I have two sizes available. There's two and a half inch and three inch. Um, they both have right here, let's see if I can, no, nope, there it is. Okay, so they all have a wood putty hole on the top. Um, the bottom is smooth and that is made for spinning. So you want to paint on the side that has the plug because see it does not spin very well. Where the plug is but if you turn it over it spins beautifully so you want to remember this if you buy wood pebbles always paint on the side that has the plug right there it also gives you your center and on the side that doesn't have the plug that's what spins so let me show you again plug side it's got a wobbly spin other side it's got a nice smooth spin so that's the difference okay so you want to paint the base coat of your design on the top of your wood pebble use a paint that accepts chalk so you want to use something matte or like a chalkboard paint would work nicely then you take a little bit of framing putty I use Loctite framing putty just to hold the stencil in place and if you purchase the stencil at the dotting center, it will automatically come with the putty. So then you just trace all the lines all the way down and see it's a thin stencil material so that it's flexible so that you can get all the sides. Once you've traced all your lines, just take the stencil off, remove the putty and kind of start from the center and just complete the spiral design just connecting all the lines so that it's one continuous line all the way down so now I just check to make sure it's got a proper spin and it looks pretty good so it's kind of trippy all right so now we're gonna paint it we're gonna start dotting Okay, so wipe off any excess chalk that you have on your piece before you start dotting. And we're going to start with the center dot and then work our way all the way down that line, just dotting right on top of the chalk line. And here you see I'm using a silicone tool, but you could absolutely use a stylus tool or anything that gives you teeny tiny micro dots. The goal with this is you're going to start with small dots at the center and then gradually make the dot sizes larger as you get towards the end of the piece. 
So in this project, these dots right here that go along this line are the only dots that need to be straight and aligned. Every other dot that you're going to make in this project is going to be random and uh, there's going to be no need for precision. So these are the ones that you want to really get right. So now that everything is dry and I can touch the top, I'm going to use my smallest dotting rod and fill in those largest dots along the bottom edge. Okay, so now we're going to add all the colorful dots in between the white lines. So we're going to start in the center with teeny tiny micro dots using our pointed silicone tool. And I'm using a black, really dark black for the center. Now I'm switching to my stylus, but you can use stylus, you can use silicone tools, whatever you find gives you the best results. Really, this section is random. There's no real organization to it other than you want to make sure that the dots don't touch and when you transition from one color to the next you want to have a good mix so as I go from one color to the next what I do is I have 50% coverage of that in-between section so that you have some of your previous color mixing in with some of your the next color. So here I'm adding blue. Again, all different size dots, no real organized placement. Okay, so what I did here was I added a little bit of purple to that blue and I didn't fully mix it in my palette. So what you'll see is I have some purple, some blue. Basically, it just depends on how the paint fell off of the tip of that stylus as to what shade it was. That's kind of a cool trick because you can, I wish I had shown that on the video, but you just halfway mix it in your palette and uh, really the paint just does the work for you. Okay, so now I'm going full purple and just straight out of the cap and interspersing that mix of purple in between. So you see it's not a real science. It's more, I'm just trying to get these two shades of purple to mix well. So going in with bright magenta now. So for this section, it's just a, a mix of purple sunset and eggplant dots to get that mix. Okay, so I just couldn't resist. I just did a little mini spin just to see how they mixed. Probably not a great thing to do when your paint is still wet, but I just couldn't help myself. Okay, so now that you know the theory behind how I'm blending these these colors and dotting in this section. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and I'll check back with you at the end.
Oops. So I messed up that dot, but luckily I have my angled chisel silicone tool and I can just scrape that off just like that. So now I'm going to make that Coastal Waters turquoise a little bit lighter by just adding white to the mix and moving on down that section. So at this point I decided I wasn't going to stain the bottom, I'm just going to paint it with that base color. So I used the Blue Harbor Deco Art um, and just finished the bottom of the pebble. And now I'm going to continue along the sides and get that spiral to go even farther down the sides. So it's really fun to paint this section because everything is kind of chaotic. There's no real um, set pattern, so you can be free to do whatever size dot that you'd like, whatever color, and it's okay if things touch. It's really kind of organized chaos, and it, I think it works really well. Hey, if you do this design, tag me. I want to see if you do a different color scheme. I would love to take a look at that. So tag me at the Dotting Center on Instagram or Facebook. Now our piece is dry and we're ready to remove the chalk lines with a wet Q-tip. And once that's done, all you have to do is seal it with your favorite varnish and it is done. So, hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos to come. Also, if you're looking for dotting supplies or dotting projects, look no further than the Dotting Center on Etsy. Go there and buy some supplies. You need some new tools. I can see them right through the screen. You need new ones. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.